Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is a newbie warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel and today I am continuing my reactions to Wavy's first full-length album. I have heard three songs so far and they're each better than the last. Um, Unbreakable is my favorite so far. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, really quickly, make sure uh, I will be uploading all of the reactions to all the songs on this. Um, basically as soon as I can, uh, while I manage my stream and other uploads as well. Um, so if you want to see the reactions to the rest of this album, as well as I've reacted to basically everything else Wavy's done before, um, make sure you hit like, uh, or make sure you hit subscribe and, and turn notifications on so you guys can see whenever another one of these goes up. Should be the next day or two, I should get all these up. Um, there's a lot that I have going on, uh, but I am super happy that one of those things is this album. I swear, if, if it it seems impossible that I will like a song more than Unbreakable, but it seemed that way about Bad Alive as well. So, I don't know. Here we go. After Midnight. After Midnight. So this is going to be the dream launch of this album, maybe? Vibe switch from the super sexy bad boy vibe, finally. I mean, no, I mean, I'm okay with the sexy bad boy vibe, but it is cool to have a swap. Oh. Okay. This is kind of introspective, a little bit magical. This also reminds me of Highway to Heaven a little bit from NCT 127. Ooh. Yo, they're using the snap still. Props. This is pretty. I'm curious where the chorus ends. Okay, so the lyrics are sexy. But it's like a tender, vulnerable, honest sexy. Not a bad boy braggadocious, aggressive sexy. This is like, you know, it's very different. Still sexy though. <laughs> this is very forward. It's a pretty song. It's kind of... It's weirdly musically cute, almost? No, it's not, because... I don't know. It feels a little bit cute. But, obviously, the, the lyrical content is not that. A lot of English in this song. Like, a lot, a lot. Nice ad-lib. Okay, I like this breakdown. Whoa. This is a nice switch up. It's like a more subdued, calmer version of the chorus for the bridge. That's cool. Nice! Oh, vocalists go off! It's stuck in my head. Cool vocal effects. Okay, um, so my initial impression is I like the song. Uh, I'm gonna listen to it again. Yeah, I'm certainly not, um, I'm certainly not going to, like, pass this by. It's not a skip, uh, when I listen to the album, but it is by far my least favorite. Um, I think definitely 
this is a super different vibe. Um, and I think in, in terms of where it is in the album, I think if you have three songs that are very strong, to have something that's more subdued like this in the track list where it is is smart. It's just in terms of what order do I like the songs, this is nowhere near any of the other three so far for me. Um, but I do like this. This is pretty... It is a, like I said, it's a very nice switch up. It's very clean. It's very simple. Um, it's repetitive. And I'm surprised by how much English there is. Um, almost the entire hook and a lot of the verses, I feel like, were in English. Um, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, very sexy lyrical content considering the music is probably the most common cute. Um, not cute. Cute's the wrong word. It's the most, I don't know. It, it's, it doesn't, the song doesn't sound sexy. But the lyrics definitely were. So that's my take on Wavy's After Midnight. Like I said, um, going to listen to it again. It's not it's not a skip, but definitely nowhere near anywhere close to the first three songs for me. Um, as always, I want to know how you feel about this song compared to the other songs. What are your favorite songs on the album? I'd be curious to know. Um, like I said, check out my reactions to the other songs on the album. Um, and if you're watching this, you know, two or three days after June 9th, then, uh, 2020, then you can probably click the description and get the whole album, uh, one video at a time like this. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me over on Patreon with special appreciation going out to... Daniel Reigns, CJ, Georgia Young, Lucky7Gen, Bob, and CJ Monasterial.